Hello, this is um, Monday, April 19th through April 23rd. We are working um, through chapter or unit six, which is the body systems. A lot of you have taken your test, which you're doing great on, and then you've also started with your pretest, which is awesome. Um, what you're gonna do now, and now if, mind you, if you um, are doing your forward exam this week, no stress, we'll just keep you know this information out there so that um, you can hop back to it later. But um, what you're going to be doing is 6.01, the nervous system and the muscle skeletal system. So this is um, to talk about all the different body systems. And we're going to start here with the muscle skeletal, which is the, the nervous, which is the uh, all the messages to your brain. Okay. And then all the muscles moving. So, and how you do things automatically or not automatically, and then what time of muscles are in your body. You've got your skeletal muscles, which are around your bones. You've got your um, your uh, organs, which are parts of the muscles, and then your cardiac hmm, muscle tissue. There you are. And then, oh, look at that. And they're going to talk about how they work and how they're connected and all that jazz. Um, then... Uh, so we're talk, talking about our skeleton, the bones, and how it all works together, classifying the bones, understanding the different parts that are in the bone. That's interesting. Um, it's not just the hard part, but there's lots of parts that go inside it. This is just amazing how our body works. And what's the role of joints? Um, the joints are the different um, moving parts um, that are... Um, where the hinges, if you will, just like a door. Um, who do you think has more bones in its neck, a human or a giraffe? Well, hmm. Would you believe they're the same? Both humans and giraffes have seven neck bones called vertebrae. Yeah, they're just bigger in the giraffe. That's interesting. Uh, little tidbit. Um, and then we're going to talk about the nervous system and how the nervous system sends messages um, to our brain when we have their their sensory. So if you touch something hot, you know, hey, this is hot. Or if you touch something um, that hurts, it, hey, this hurts. Um, how do the parts of the system work? Going through the spinal cord, there's a nice video. Um, good information here. Um and how it all works to keep us in maintaining homostasis or balance. How does all of this work to keep us in balance so that we are able to function um, as a human? And then, and then um, they're gonna talk like a scientist, or think like a scientist, talk like a scientist, I'm using the vocabulary of all, this is a lot of vocabulary too, holy buckets. So um, just, just making sure that you understand the different um, parts of um, the, you know, the, the, the nervous system and the body system. But then they're going to ask you, is this, is this helping doctor homostasis? You're going to, it's an activity to do research. This is an opportunity um, to try and determine what's wrong with our patients. Is it a muscle sprain, a nerve damage, or a broken fracture bone? And so you're going to actually write a, um, just, you're going to just diagnose and then give some kind of a treatment plan. Okay. And then where did you get this from? Um, cite the sources that you you got the, the treatment plan from, okay? You might find it on the internet, you might come up with it based on um, some of the information that you learned, but really, you know, you may use videos, books, journals to find the treatment plan, but just make sure that you give me some cite, citation. Um, so you'll go ahead and you'll do that. I will be posting this um, on the page so that you can have access to it. Um, it's been actually kind of fun to, to read some of the students who've already submitted theirs, um, just good information. So, you know, what do you do, you know, if you have a muscle sprain or um, some nerve damage and such. So I'm just, I'm showing you how I save the link and then I just go ahead and um, 
this is the um, 6.01 okay and so i will go ahead and submit this to you this is what we're doing today if you have any questions let me know i look forward to uh talking to you on thursday i'm not available monday i will be out for the day you have a good day